pain is such like an interesting thing. Like I was in jujitsu. And I'm going to use this as like a jujitsu reference for all you guys out there. But it applies to life in so many different ways. This is, and it's, this video is definitely off of the top of the head. I didn't have anything. My bullet points are with me today. But it's like, I was rolling today and, you know, I'm on this diet and I'm going through all these things. You know, so a lot of times my roles, for me, they just suck because... I'm sometimes, you know, I'm trying to be present in the moment. I can, things are racing through my head. You know, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Um, I'm feeling weaker than I normally would because I'm on this uh, caloric restricted diet and I'm just going through it. But it's that very moment, it's like you have two options. You can just settle for the outcome. Like, okay, today just isn't the day and use those excuses that I just named to say, ah, I don't have to push hard. Or I can flip that switch in my head and just go, all the way out, balls to the wall. It doesn't matter what's going on. And I wonder how many of you guys out there have that switch when not going through it in jujitsu, but just going through it in like in life or situations that you guys are dealing with, you know, when that pain is coming in, do you have that switch? And how do you get to that point where, okay, let's just, it doesn't matter what's going to go on. We're just going to still ramp it up and I got to die before I give up. I know for me, I always didn't have that switch. You know, a lot of times, and I've said it before, like when I tell you these things, it's like this is about like experiences I've dealt with and, and the growth that I've I've had throughout the years going through everything. So I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from a person that, oh, no, no, no. these stories and where I want you guys to be and where I, I want you guys, where I see you guys. I wasn't there all the time, you know, and I'm still climbing to get to a certain level. But I remember plenty of plenty of times when the pain would kick in or the discomfort would kick in. I would just settle for, eh, all right, it's getting too tough. Let me, uh, I can't, all right, I'm done. And I was never getting, getting anywhere with it. Like it was, I would always seem to just come to this roadblock. Like when I think things are going to get, you know, at a certain level, like I'm about to level up on people. And then I would go through something and then I seemed like I would just drop back down lower than where I initially started. And I was just like, okay, something, something's going on here. I'm not, I'm not figuring it out. And I just realized, you know, the discomfort, the pain, that very moment is the moment where the level up is going to happen. And I really, really have started to see that. And I go back to jujitsu because on those days when you come into class, and you don't want to necessarily be there. Like you walk into the academy and you don't want to be there, but you go anyway. And then usually you have the best time in there, the best role. That's growth. When you're getting smashed by an upper belt, someone who has, who has more skill set than you, whatever their physical attributes may be, and you're just getting demolished, you know, you're getting tapped, you're getting submitted like, like clockwork. That very moment you, you can say, okay, why is that happening? And start taking all of those little points and start realizing, okay, this is where I'm making an error. Let me start going back to the drawing board. As opposed to, let's say you were going to the academy and you were just whipping on everybody, everybody, everybody. You would never have any growth because you would never be tested. You would never be challenged. You would never have a new thought to say, huh, this isn't working. Let me try something different. With me, for example, I remember when I first started Jiu Jitsu 2013, um, I was just getting demolished. I was getting demolished the first six months I was getting killed. The first week, forget about it. I think I went there three times and then I didn't come back for maybe two days because my head was so like, I was so wrapped up in my ego. Like I was just like, I can't, I can't do this. This, this is crazy. But it had to be like that. I had to go to that academy and get completely demolished or I probably would never have joined because if I would have went in there and have like an okay run in there, I would have justified me saying, I don't have to be here. I did it right. I lift weights. I work out. I don't know what they still couldn't get me. But the fact is I went in there. I was in shape going to the gym five, six days a week. And I still got demolished. That made it very clear to me. Oh, OK. That was like the crossroads right there. That was like the fork in the road where I was going to say to myself, OK, you can just act like that did not happen and go back to the gym and just start go back to the flat bench and, and call it a day. Or you can make that decision and say, okay, I, I need to learn this stuff. And that's what happened. I was like, oh, I got to learn it. And that's the crossroads that I think we always kind of deal with when we come to adversity. 
And that's where like really this whole point of this whole video is about. It's like, we always come to that crossroad when dealing with discomfort, when we're dealing with pain. It's like, okay, are we just going to just settle? Where are we just gonna crumble? Or we're just gonna accept what it is? Or are we gonna say, you know what? This sucks so fucking bad right now. This is the worst thing that I might have dealt with in a while. But guess what? I'm gonna flip the switch on and I'm gonna go hard and whatever the outcome is gonna be, the outcome is gonna be, but they're gonna have to just pull me, like I'm just gonna keep going. Like I'm just gonna run through this whole thing until the gas tank is out. And I know for me, having that mind frame and turning that switch on changed a lot of things for me because I realized like, oh, when things get uncomfortable, what I deem it as uncomfortable isn't, isn't really uncomfortable. When I, because now I'm truly dealing with what pain is. I was like, oh, no, 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 this is pain. I'm going through pain right now. All the other stuff, and now it puts things in perspective because it's like, okay, all the other stuff that I was deeming as uncomfortable, discomfort, oh, this sucks, this hurts, this is painful, it means absolutely nothing. It means absolutely nothing. I was just being soft. I was just being a little softy. I was being soft serve because it just got, it was out of my comfort zone. I didn't have control over it. So I thought it was the worst thing on the world. Oh no, no, it was nothing. I wish I had that type of pain. That was, that, that, that's a cakewalk in comparison to what I'm dealing with now. So now it's like, okay, how powerful is this mind to tell ourselves it doesn't matter how painful it is. We're going to keep going. We're going to snap out of it. And I got all the kind of like it hit me today again because just in jujitsu, it was just one of those days where I was just not feeling I did not want to be there just because it was just it's coming up on six months since my mom's passing. You know, this pandemic is still just biting me in the ass in every direction. There's just so many things going on, you know, externally that I'm just dealing with internally and so many things internally that I'm dealing with. And now I'm um, projecting it, you know, outward and externally that I was like, Ugh, I don't want to be here. But it hit me because at one point I was like, all right, I gotta snap out of it. At one point I'm just like, you know, what, I'm about to just get up out of here. You know, I can't do it today. I was just like, no, 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 no. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. All the stuff that you've been talking about and the very moment that, yeah, this thing sucks right now. You got to, nah, we got to, let's snap out of it. And I had to go right back into it and just, and deal with the suck and embrace the suck. And that's what I've been doing now. I've been embracing the suck. I've been embracing this pain and channeling this pain, whether it be to push forward, you know, shooting these videos and just, you know, reaching out to some of you guys that may be dealing with the, the same thing to let you guys know we're in this fight together. I, I know what you're going through. I know what you're going through. And if you're not going through anything right now, I want you guys to just know when shit hits the fan or, you know, things get a little uncomfortable for you guys. That's not going to be the moment that you guys curl up. This is when we got to raise up and raise our vibration up and go even harder. The moment it gets painful, the moment it gets uncomfortable is the moment when we have to embrace it even more and go even harder. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, because numerous times I could fall into that victim zone. I've said it before in other videos. I could go into that mode and say, oh, I'm going to curl up under the covers and just eat some ice cream and just cry. How am I going to deal with this pain right now? Because the pain isn't going anywhere. The pain really, to be honest with you guys, if I can be 100% transparent with you guys, and this is just me just off of, you know, this is me off the top of my head. You know, usually I like to have little bullet points, but this is just me just talking. I just wanted just to talk to you guys. The pain isn't going anywhere for me. It's getting worse. So I already come, came to that realization, okay, the pain is not going anywhere, but I do have the option is how am I gonna deal with this pain? How are you guys gonna deal with that pain? That sh I know people who have gone through, they are going through with this shutdown. And even I had to ask them, like, like, all right, well, what are you going to do? This is the first time where you've never had to deal with anything, you know, hard. You've never had to deal with anything hard. And this is the first time you've had to deal with, excuse me, you've had to deal with something tough. You've had to deal with something, some adversity. All right, what are you going to do? How are you going to deal with it? Because you can't ignore it. That was another thing. I used to try to pretend it's not there. 
You know, a lot of people that I know, they like to pretend it's not there. That's why jujitsu is so interesting. And that's why, you know, jujitsu is so important to me. And it, it's, it's such an interesting martial art. And I could see, you know, it's very clear how I could see how people can either stick with it. There's another choice. Here we go. Once again, here's that crossroad. There's another cho- choice for people in, when it comes to jujitsu. You're going to stick with it or you're going to quit. Either or. And I even, you know, the gray area is, okay, you quit and then you come back. I just consider that quitting. I'm just going to still put you that and put put you in the category of quitting because every day that you walk in that door, you're getting faced with, OK, me, you know, <laughs> especially if I like you. If, if you come to the academy and you're new and I like you, you're cool people and I see like, OK, this person can get good. This person is going to be a beast in the future. I'm going to be on your case so much to the point some days you're going to think like I don't like you. But it's love. It's tough ass love because I see the potential in you. So I'm like, I want to bring it out of you because I've, I've seen all the, I've seen so many iterations of the person who is going to go all the way to black belt, you know, or whatever, whatever their goal may be, where it's purple belt, whatever the case may be, brown belt. And I've seen many iterations of people who, okay, Listen, they get tapped out a couple of times by someone who's maybe smaller than them or, you know, weaker than them and they're out of here. So if I see like you got it and you're with it, you have that mentality that, OK, I want to stick with it. I'm going to be on you so bad. that, But it's out of love. And even that it can make people like, OK, I'm out of here. Like that. I don't want to do this all day. I was one of them. I used to go to the academy like back in the day, 2013, and I'm like, what am I doing here? I could be going right back to the gym, doing my little five sets of 10 reps and be on my way. But it was that moment once again, I was just like, no, no, no. Like this, this, un- this discomfort, it became, I had to like change it and like it. I started to love being uncomfortable. And that's where I'm at now. It's like, I, The discomfort that I'm feeling with, I'm embracing it because I know and I want you guys to know what you're going through. When we get out of this, we are going to be so strong. It's it's not even going to be funny when we develop this type of shield and tough skin after we but we got to get over it, though. We have to get over it when we get out of this and we overcome this. We're going to be so tough and so strong that when something else happens, because that's life, life is going to constantly, it's going to throw the curveball. I hope it doesn't throw a curveball like it threw him at me. Like, I don't want it to happen to you guys like that. But listen, life is crazy. Life is weird. Life is going to throw you something that you're not going to expect. And you didn't even see it coming. But what you can do is just be prepared and just be ready and just just know it's coming. But when it does come, you're like, I've been waiting for you. All right, let's go. And we're going to get through this. We're going to handle it. But when we get out of this and that's how we have to look at it, we're going to be so much stronger. You know, if I would have quit jujitsu when I really wanted to quit and then come back, I wouldn't be at a brown belt. You know, I wouldn't be you know, winning certain titles and things like that, because the mentality wouldn't have been as strong. You know, the mentality wouldn't have had the confidence. The mentality wouldn't have the energy to say, you know what, I could do this. It would have been something else. So when we come to that crossroad and that pain and we come to that crossroad of this of the discomfort, we have to. It doesn't matter what's going to happen, but I'm going to go all in and we're going to figure it out. So just want to share that with you guys. More videos are on the way as always. I appreciate you guys watching it and I'll be back with another one. Peace.